YouTube, we are back on Discord, and today we're gonna be checking out more UIs on the server. If you guys would like to join, the link is down below. So yeah, let's check out some some UIs. Let's see what people are talking about right here. This is a cool little UI right here. I'm currently working on the sword fighting game and came up with this for my UI. I am a little new, so please tell me how I did. This is actually not bad uh, for a beginner. Um, this was kind of similar to the Redux UI I made. I'm wondering if you took inspiration from it. That's perfectly fine. All right, let's keep going. Oh, okay, I was gonna smack you out of this world. What are you, what, what are you talking about? Stop copying me or me or like something something. Shut up, he can do it if he wants. It's not like that or sell his trademarks. Yo, it's a joke. Chill out, kid. <laughs> okay um this one interesting interesting i like that i like that uh cyber blocks cool that's really nice robot spotify spotify redesign it's pretty cool check it out um playlist lit daily mix very very nice is good gui really matter in the navi game does good GUI really matter? Good GUI matters in every game for the best user experience. If the interface is terrible and not friendly to use, then many people won't play the game, simply put. And what website or what does you use? <laughs> and what website or what do you use to design GUI? I personally use Photoshop and Illustrator, but normally for UI, you should use Adobe XD and Illustrator. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's see what else is here. Oh, game shop UI. All right, what's this? It's like a, it's like a honey, honeycomb bee bee shop thingy. Sets of buttons, a set of buttons recreated based on reference by In Creation Studio. It's actually some uh, pretty cool buttons right here. Nice job. All right, here is some more discussion. You don't need specific softwares to design UI. I mean, I can design better stuff at Photoshop than people at InDesign. In my graphics course, the teachers are very strict about softwares because they worked in big companies. As people who design magazines do typography in InDesign, photographers are expected to work in Photoshop and Lightroom. And if they decide to use another platform, some of the properties won't be easily accessible then if you were to use the designated platforms and the company director would ask why you're using the wrong platform and pass you off as not knowledgeable in your fields okay that was um a very long text practice ui bronze six got your ranks um uh, i want to recreate this one right here because why not uh let's open the link I'm gonna recreate this right here because why not let's go for it all right here we are inside photoshop um let's go rounded rectangle right here let's go for a radius of five or at least seven actually and then we're gonna drag out a nice little, nice little frame okay and change the color to a nice gray all right and uh, i'm also gonna go our board from layers because reason for that is um i want to be able to drag this reference out all right so home shop stats and rank right there let's see let's think how we should do this i'm not gonna deviate too much from his design so let's not change too much let's just clean it up make it cleaner all right let's go for that and let's just type out home right here. Let's go for black. All right, here's home. Boom. It's right there. Home, shop, and stats. Home, shop. Let's make sure it's centered, first of all. Home, shop, and stats right here. All right, for home, I'm gonna duplicate. I don't know why this is clipped in. I'm gonna do that. Anyways, let's add a gradient overlay. There we go. He has a little line as well, so we're gonna add that too. It's right here. Okay, I'm gonna go for a little glow on the bottom. Right there. Let's make sure everything is as it should be. I actually wanna bump these down. Alright, let's see how it looks. Pretty cool. Um 
this line is kind of too long. Place it right here. That was good. Okay. Home shop stats. Maybe make these into bold. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some rank icons off the internet. Um, just so you know, I don't say credit for any of these. So, all right. Anyways. Okay. Let's merge and we're just going to copy. Give me a second. Let's flatten that. Copy this. Right, we got this little, this little icon now. Let's place it right here. Okay. Right in this little corner. Alright, we're gonna take the text, we're gonna copy this, drag it across, go three. Because it's a gold icon. Alright. And we could add some color, possibly. That'd be nice. It's right here. Just kind of brighten up. Alright, it's, it's really nice. Shop, stats. Alright. Um, what else can we do? Let's go ahead and I feel like adding maybe a stroke. One, two, and three. We'll take these three and adjust the size. That. Cool. XP to the next rank. Let's add that as well. I'm gonna make this blue. Then XP to the next rank. Now, um, hmm, thinking. All right, I got this uh, render I made for Redux. So let me just go ahead and use this right here. Oops. New missions. I'm gonna do new guns for this right here. New missions, and right here is going to be new weapons. Let's go for this right here. Turn this off. Turn that off. There's gonna be new weapons. Right, and just like the same color. Alright, now we're just gonna take everything, group. Make a smart object. Bring the background back. Let's make it a gray color. Um, let's go for a job shadow. Color black. And there it is. That is that right there is our UI recreation complete. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more of these uh, just regular casual content, just uh, casual content where I react to your UIs in the discord server and uh whichever ones i see there are that are interesting i will recreate in my own uh i will recreate and uh show you guys the process so if you guys enjoy videos like these make sure to leave a like comments as well i read every single comment so yeah with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace